hello friends so this was our previous code in which we have a uh, blink led using this gpio write pin function so uh, we, uh, this function will write zero then it will this delay function will generate some delay then it will write high then again it will generate some delay so basically it will turn on and turn off the led and here is the output right now i will do the same thing but using different function so today we will learn how to use api okay existing api how to call them okay for our required functionality so this is our main program right now uh, you can access the drivers from this folder in driver folder is there in driver stm f1xx hl driver folder is there and in this uh, scr source folder is there so here you can see we have this gpio driver gpio.c you can open this and here you can see all the functions are there right starting from the init right then d the init right these functions are already there then read pin so if i want to interface switch or if i want to read sensor data then i can use this function right same way write pin function this function we have already used in our previous video and now i want to blink the led so from this driver uh, i i found that this function can be used right toggle pin function is there and uh, this this toggle pin basically uh, toggle the specific pin here you can see it will toggle the specific pins right so i can use this function so i am copying this function because this function is already defined from the main i can simply call the call this so in the main itself while one i will paste this function right and here are two arguments are there first is on which port you want this toggle functionality so gpio a and second argument is on which pin you want this functionality so gpio underscore pin underscore zero because our led is there on pin zero i have already defined this pin zero at gpi output and now no need to use this write zero and write one okay anyway delay is required because uh, if we will not write this delay then it will continuously toggle this pin and uh, we cannot observe this so let us put a small delay of uh, uh, 50 millisecond right and now our previous code was a four line and now this code is of two line and using two line also we can uh, uh, you know generate the same output right so this program will basically toggle these pins gpio a pin zero so let us release this code once again right and it will modify our hex file right and uh, now i will load this so i will stop this and i will load our uh, build newly build hex file you can observe this from the timing and right? this is latest one and now i am loaded this uh, i am loading this hex file in my uh, this uh, microcontroller and now i will run this code and you can see led is blinking with interval of uh, 50 millisecond now let us increase this delay 700 again release the code it will modify the hex file stop this and since hex file path is same so i can simply run it rerun it and you can see now delay is increased so this is how you can uh, use apis okay so these apis are already there in the code they define they are already defined and we can simply call them okay in from our main program and this is for the gpio same way if you will configure uart then uart driver will be there if you will configure other pwm then pwm driver will be there you can simply access this file you can uh, get the idea okay which are the apis are available and which api i can use for my uh, required functionality right and this is how you can simply call this so this thing is very easy compared to writing code from scratch if you know about this api then you can directly call them and get the required output
so in next video we will see read pin function so we will use some switches to read the signal from the output hardware right means from the switch or such type of devices you can also consider the sensor anyway we can use sensor also so using read pin we can read all these type of digital values okay and we will uh, do is th this in uh, our next few videos so uh, then we will also interface lcd seven segment so this is what for today's video if you like my work then please like my videos and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you very much